Hey coach, welcome uh, to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe down below and click up above. Um, that way you'll be notified of everything that kind of comes through. If you're looking to win championships, if you're looking to have a basement, messy basement like this, but a basement like this, go down over and check out ttroops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's the resources, it's mentoring. It's the one-stop shop for basketball coaches. Go over and check it out. Have a great day. Cone passing drill. This is the first one of, of several we'll talk about. Um, so Drew is going to be over there about... I don't know, 10, 12 feet from the cones. Um, we usually have somebody receiving, so start over here, Drew, we'll do left first. Um, so, uh, bounce passes are about two thirds of the direction to the receiver. So we use the cones, these cones are actually relatively far apart. As the kids get better, we'll put them closer. So, what I'll do is, I'll put one close one over here. Um, so here's what's gonna happen. He is going to use his weak hand and pass it through the cones. Okay, and then he's gonna keep sliding. So we're gonna go relatively slow. Come and keep coming down. Good, come on down. Yep, so he is, hold on Drew. He's going with his left hand, so he is going to be passing with his left, or sliding left, so he's gonna be passing with his left hand. Then he's gonna come back right. Good, come back here, right, good, come back here, right, back, one more, good. So, relatively basic thing, but he's just stretching it out. Um, left, left slide, left hand, right, right slide, right hand. Nice. The third progression in the cone passing drill is going to be what I call knockdowns. So I would start with passing one ball between the cones. Step two would be two balls passing between the cones. And step three would be knocking the cones down. Um, and again, you can make this more difficult than the players by putting the cones closer together, curving them, making a move in different directions. So Drew is gonna slide right, so he's gonna knock down these cones with his right hand. He's gonna keep going until he knocks it down. All right, go ahead, Drew. Nope. Bounce pass, bounce pass. Nope. Come on, knock it down. There you go, good, next one. Again, we're trying to teach him, good. How, how, is, how is that ball gonna bounce like that? One more. Whoa, all right. So that's, that's anger because he didn't get his allowance this week. But um, no, so that, that's gonna take some time and what is teaching them, make it a little bit of an obstacle course, kind of making those bounce passes get through traffic. All right, man in the middle. Great drill. Um, so Reggie's going to make a pass all the way through. Drew is gonna defend. He's gonna be an arm length away, okay? So you're gonna go here for a second so I can demonstrate. So when you make passes, you wanna make passes. First of all, you wanna close a window and then open a window. So there are four windows in which you wanna pass a basketball. Window one, this ear, right in here. Window two, over here. Hip is three, and the other hip is four. So usually I tell the players, break one window and then throw it through the other window. So if you break the ear window, then throw it through the hip. But never go through the window that you initially go. It's too easy to deflect. Um, so the object of this, very basic drill, but object is he is going to defend. He knows he's not going to dribble. He has to try to touch the ball. You do not want to be the man in the middle. This is bad. You don't want to be the middle child. Okay? So. He is going to try to touch it. If Drew touches the ball with any, even his fingernail, then he gets the pass and Reggie would have to go in the middle. All right, ready, go. Good, close the window. You gotta hold it for a five count. One, two. Good, you gotta let the defender get up. Yep, he's gotta anticipate. So let's say Drew touches it. So Ant makes it, oh, look at that, great steal. So then Anthony would go in the middle, he would defend. And Drew would have to again close it up. Now, if you if you throw it over the head, even though I know some of the NBA guys do like this stuff and all over, if you throw it over the head, it's like him touching it. So this is a no man's land. We do not let him pass it over the head. Great warm-up drill. Good. That's enough. So now you're in the middle. He touched it. Doesn't matter. If he touches it with anything, it's a deflection, you go in the middle. Um, Great warm-up drill. Take 35, 40 seconds, the beginning of practice, play man in the middle. It, it, it makes them focus. It, it is emphasizing the most important aspect of this game, which is defensive pressure, and they just stole the ball. So great drill, man in the middle, do it every practice. 
great cone passing drill that we kind of demonstrated with Drew. We'll just do it again with these two. Is kind of first we'll do the sliding where they're sliding either left if they're sliding left they're passing with their left hand. If they're sliding right they're passing with their right hand in between the cones. All right, so let's see if we can demonstrate this. Good. Yep, and you're just throwing it back in. Yep. So it's giving a location. One, try to do one-handed though. Yep, go back. Good. And then I want you to make the turn down here. So come on back and make the turn down here and go this way down the cones. S step back a little bit. There you go, one-handed. Good. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Yep. And then come back. Then you guys can come on back. Now your right hand. This one should go faster. Right hand should go faster. Good. That's it. Perfect. All right. Now stop. We're gonna do the same thing. But now you're gonna you're gonna go back. Now you're gonna knock the cone down. So when you're sliding this way, you're gonna knock the cone down. Don't worry about picking them up. We'll just go one time through. Yep. With the ball. Yep. And keep going until you knock it down. Step back a little bit, Reggie. There you go. So we're working a little bit on control here. Good. It's a little bit harder here on the uh, guy recovering it. The bigger, wider cones are a little bit easier on this. Again, notice how he's kind of curling that. That's a great example of the control and getting the ball exactly where you want it to go. Uh, an add-on note to the, the knocking the cones down, Drew, go back up there, um, is you, you really have to think about the cones being kind of a post-entry. So I'm here, Drew's trying to really throw it right at me. Boom, you know, yeah, one more step back. So coming right here, he's going to hit it to me. Yep, and then I'm going to grab it. He actually hit that and it didn't fall down, but that's, a, that's the actual progression of it. The first drill we're going to do, and what I think is important is to name your drills. Um, first drill we're going to do is what we call a Laker drill. Um, you know, I got this from the, from the Lakers in the, in the mid-80s, late-80s, when I was kind of going through my basketball experience here a little bit. Um, so we, we need, all we need is three guys for this. And what we try to do when we run this in practice is try to do 15 makes without it hitting the floor. Um, that's the key to kind of this drill. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, these guys all know each other, so I'm going to make sure that they're calling out each other's names because that's really important. Um, we start the drill by throwing it off the glass. So Brett's going to throw the ball off the glass here, and he's going to pick a side. All right, he's going to go real slow here. If he goes left, the next time down, he's going to go right. So we'll alternate back and forth between which way we go. So he's going to pass to the left, real slow here, guys. And if the ball is going to come back to the middle, all right, then as he gets it, they have to be sprinting when they're doing this. Okay, if they're not sprinting, there'll be a travel or they won't be able to get what they need out of this. So they're sprinting full court. He's going to pass it to Ben. And ben is going to shoot. Okay, stop where you're at. So Ben is here and he just shot. The shooter is going to follow his shots and fill that wing. So Ben's coming over here now and he's on the right wing. Okay. The passer, which was Brett over here, is going to follow his pass. He passed the Ben. He's going to follow on that wing. Now the key to this drill is you need to make sure you alternate sides. So everybody gets a, ch a chance to do it. So he's going to alternate sides, so we're going to go the opposite way this time. Yep, go over here, back to the middle, back to the side, and then a layup. Okay? And what, what's important here is a couple things. A couple things that are really important in this drill. You know, is it, can you do other things by shooting layups? Absolutely. You know, that doesn't really matter. Um, what we're really looking for when we do this drill, we're looking for them to communicate. We're looking for the ball not to hit the floor. We're looking for them to sprint. The best drill that you can run for your players is one where you're conditioning them and you don't know you're conditioning them. And we're, not gonna, we're only going to go down and back because these guys are kind of old. Um, but we're, we're going to try to do the best we can as far as conditioning them and getting them up and down the court. Um, so we'll, I'll have them go live once and then, we'll, uh, and then we'll change up the drill a little bit. All right, go ahead, guys. Call it, call it the names here. Good, call it each other's names. Good, stop. So as you're doing this, you want to change a couple things. First of all, you want to make sure they're sprinting and they're staying wide. 
They're making good passes. This group did, they actually did a really good job there. That's the first thing. Second thing is we should all, I should be able to hear all their names called out, okay? And what's great about this drill is you can change it up, okay? You can put a manager out here and do, and do some jump shots and those kind of things. So what I'm going to have them do right now is uh, do the same drill and do uh, jump shots. Let's do like 12 footers from the wing. Yep. Go ahead, live. <laughs> Good, now you gotta think. Yeah, now that's good. Good, stop. Now, <laughs> Drew did a really good job there, and this is something you really have to emphasize with your guys is when they, after that make, especially, you know, I don't know if Ben hit that shot, but he took it out of bounds, especially on the jump shots. If they hit the jump shot, he grabs the ball and takes it out of bounds. It's a, it's a little bit easier when you're doing layups than, you know, jump shots, but. You know, where in the game, where do you ever play the game of basketball where after a make you don't take it out of bounds? So you might as well teach them that skill right away um, in this drill. But, you know, I, I like this drill. It's a conditioning drill. It's a transition drill. It's a layup drill. It's a communication drill. You know, it does a little bit of everything. So, so I really kind of like that. All right, Augustine, you can jump in on this one. So that, what we call that is the Laker drill. And like I said before, I think it's important to name the drills. Um, the kids can jump up and real quickly do the drills. They know what, what, what's kind of expected. Two-person passing. Simple. It's been around since the beginning of the game. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, let's do left hand first. You guys put the ball in your left hand. So I like to use the lane, um, especially if you have a whole team. You can work them all the way up and down the court. And what they're going to do is this, this is, a, you know, how often you're passing, standing. Not, this is about touch, it's about feel, it's about moving and, and being able to make those passes. So what they're going to do, they're going to both be in the left hand and they're just going to pass it back and forth to each other. Yep. Switching hands. And notice the ball is left side staying on the right side. So there's not a lot of movement there. So then after they get kind of hang of this, now they're going to come down here to the top of the key and then they're going to go all the way back down. So the, the, the first step is stationary, keep going. The second step is movement. Good, stop. Alright, so the first variation was standard, the second variation was moving. All right. So the next one is now you're going to touch pass back and forth. Yep, you got it, you know which way you're going to go. So they're starting in the Starting the right, he's going to pass it to the left, and then he's going to bring it across. Nice and slow. Yep. Perfect. So it's a touch pass, across, and then pass. Again, the progression is do it stationary first. They seem to have it down. Now we'll start moving when we do this. Good. Stop. All right, perfect. Two person passing. Great drill. All right, next one is going to be the two ball. We're going to do a similar cone passing drill. Um, Drew is going to slide left, pass with his left hand, slide right, pass with his right hand. I'm going to pass it back. He's going to do this one a little bit faster. All right, go ahead, Drew. Come on. Whoa. Okay. You're trying to kill me. All right, come on back now. Slide right. Right hand. Good. In between the cones. That's a tough one. Good. That was much better. So again, sliding right hand, passing with the right hand, sliding left, passing with the left hand. That one, I would start the progression with the first one, one ball, passing to somebody, letting him pass it back. Second progression would be um, two balls, passing it back after each one. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot, actually. If you did, subscribe and like, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.